UQ holder 105 time freeze for two. This was actually like a chapter, a, a romance chapter, a date chapter. And this date consisted of uh, Tota, Tota and Kitty. Now, Kitty is, of course, the chick with the glasses, and she has the ability to have save points and able to go back. You know, her immortality is basically to go back in time, honestly. She, but she has to kill herself or she has to die, and she makes save points. So it's like a game. Her, her whole immortality is somewhat like a game. She has save points, and apparently she has glitches. In this chapter, we see her... Really just trying to figure out what the hell is going on. Everybody is frozen in time. Yeah, Santa who's frozen. We have everybody. Everybody's frozen. Everybody's frozen. Yuka Hime is frozen. What you would, wouldn't would think because she's a fucking, she's a beast. She's a beast. Why is she frozen? It's a funny moment, but we'll get to there in a moment. So she's trying to figure out. She's stuck with Tota. Tota. And the reason why he's involved with this because, of course, remember in the last chapter, he knocked he knocked the save points over, so that caused it as well. And that's why he's with Kirti because he he was he fell she fell on top of him and like so he went into he basically went with her with this glitch that's happening and he's able to move around and stuff. And it's interesting because maybe that's Kirti is new power because Toto's like, Oh, you got a freaking new power? That's amazing. Damn. But um She's like, no, it's a glitch. <laughs> it's a glitch. I love how she says, no, it's, it's a fucking glitch, man. It's like, it's like a video game. It's a glitch. So uh, that was pretty hilarious. But it's a great, ch- great chapter if you really want to see more of this relationship. Sad. Because Kitty, like, you know, he she gives him a hard time, this and that. She even says in this chapter, like, I should be a little nicer to him. But in in all actuality, she's actually really in love with him. She She's falling for Tota, and we see in this app chapter, like, Tota's just treating her really good. Like, he brought her a cake. He's like, I was going to bring you this because I want to thank you. Because if it wasn't for your powers, like, we'd be done. And it's because of you. And it's true. It's true. Kiri has some amazing powers where, like, fate could have totally destroyed all of them but because of kitty and because she sacrificed herself they were able to go back to that save point and really kind of think okay what this is what fate's going to do we got to come up with a game plan so that's great so he gives her cake uh they take a bath he makes sure you know the the like because everything's frozen he makes sure that basically like he he manually pumps the water for her uh, they have fire. They show they got fireworks going. He teases her, but you know he he says I really do thank you and I really do appreciate you. Uh, but he he still says it. He's like I don't see you in that way, but you are. Uh, I really do like you and I really do. You know you, you're you're right here. You're my family. You're my fam. And what's funny is before that though, when they were looking, seeing everybody frozen and stuff, everybody in UQ Holder and what they were doing, you see Yukahime. And they go into her office and she's she's like stretching and her boobs are so big, like these two buttons just pop out. And she has this like kind of just like face like, oh, shit, man, I made these boobs way too big. Because we know Yukahime, if you don't know Yukahime, she's from uh, Nagima. She Her actual, she actually has a 12 year old kind of like body because that's when she turned immortal. But she's like 300,000 years old or something. like. No, she's 16. I think she has 16 year old body because she said 16 in one of the chapters. Uh, but we see Tota, you know, looking and we see Kiri getting jealous. She's like, hey, don't look at that shit. And we see Tota going around, like looking at all the girls and stuff, even looking at, uh, what's his name? Uh, Kuromaru and just seeing if he's a boy or a girl at this point. But that was, it was good to see, uh, yeah, you can, he may looking fine with that, you know, that body. I'm just saying like, Tota's like, oh, I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get that. Like, Cause we know Tota is really in love with Yuki Hime, but he got rejected, which was like one of the funniest chapters too. But we see Kira, Kitty really, you know, they're really getting along so well. She goes off. He goes somewhere. And he's trying, you know, she's trying to find him. After saying, like, I need to be a little bit nicer to him. And the chapter ends with Tota looking at Yukihime while she's in that frozen stance. You know, boots, buttons popping and everything. And he's, like, kind of just, like, kind of looking at her. And I'm assuming that... Kitty's going to stumble upon, like, all manga does this too, but Kitty's going to stumble upon definitely something Tota wants to say to Yukihime, but 
he's kind of maybe shy or, you know, really just really letting his feelings out to Yukihime. Or it might be the complete opposite. Maybe he'll say, yeah, I really do love you, but you know what? Maybe, maybe you're right. Maybe you're not going to go anywhere. So maybe I'll just, I, I actually starting to harbor feelings for these other girls. So I don't know. It could go that way, but most likely he'll be saying maybe he'll kind of have a confession right there because Yukihime is frozen in time. Doesn't mean she can't hear him though. So it's just going to be interesting. And I, I, I honestly do think Tota and Yukihime after those recent chat after those recent chapters of, you know, the Spartan training. I really do think, yeah, you know, with uh, Yukihime back in Nagima not getting. He, you know her love and stuff but what's crazy was she met tota first before she met nagima or nagi that you know i i, I would love to see tota and uh yukihime end up together at the very end i like everybody else but i think those two definitely it, it would be nice it would definitely bring uh uh it make this it make their characters whole because you know she's looking for kind of love and she she's in love with Tota. She knows she is. And Tota's in love with Yukihime after... She, I mean, he fucking... He tried to get... He's done so much to try to even just see Yukihime at one point that... Uh, it's... I, I don't see... I don't see anything. I'm predicting that he is definitely going to say something very meaningful. And Kitty's going to walk in on it. Uh, but it's going to She's not going to do anything. She's going to hear what he has to say. But it's going to be... I can't wait for next chapter. And, ugh can't wait to see what you or tota has to say i mean i really want to see what he has to say about yukihime especially after being you know rejected and but they did share that one moment where she was scrubbing his back and stuff so we'll see how it goes it can go a lot of ways but i'm hoping for at least you know tota is really honest and really is a thousand percent sure that he is in love with yukihime but uh, the chapter was very, very nice for those two characters to really bond with each other. And for here on, you know, because Kitty does come off as annoying in the manga. But in this chapter, you know, you see her breaking down a little bit. And I would love to see her really kind of, you know, just really just just be a little bit nicer, be a little nicer. And us as a reader to really start really liking kitty because she could be a little bratty sometimes but it'll be interesting maybe after the conf or something what you or tota does to yukihime says to her or maybe he doesn't even say anything maybe he just mo he just does something like to really show that he really just really cares that yukihime maybe put her ha hands down cover her up or you know fix her buttons or something like that so it'll be see it'll be very interesting if kiri will kind of confess to him so I mean, you gotta have romance. You gotta have romance in a lot of a lot of your storytelling. I, I really do dig the romance that uh, UQ Holder is doing. It definitely, you know, all the girls love the one guy, but I really do like it. And I, one of my favorite characters too is Santa. I really like Santa. So it's kind of crazy that he got caught in this like glitch when he's a ghost. So that was kind of funny. That was that's an interesting point as well. So thank you guys for listening. If you want to check out this manga, I will have the description link in below in the description box. And it's not too late. It's 105 chapters. So you could easily binge read this. Now do you have to read Nag uh, Nagima or any of that? You could know, you can go in there, Wikipedia, and you'll see some, because it's a long, it's a long, long, I think it was like 300 chapters or something like that. It's a long series. It does have an anime series that I don't know about, but I think you can get into UQ Holder and you could still follow along. And then if you want, go and look up some of the information on some of these characters or some of the background information like on Yukihime, aka Kitty, so... I'm Dan Man, a.k.a. Daniel Sun. I would really appreciate if you hit that subscribe button for if you are a fan of UQ Holder. Like the video if you like it and comment below. Love to hear your guys' thoughts on this chapter and overall the series as a whole. Are you just reading it? Let me know. It's a, definitely a manga that should be should be talked about a little bit more, I, I feel. I feel like it has a lot of great elements to it. Is it the greatest manga in the world? No. But is it very entertaining? Yes. So, I'm Dan Man, a.k.a. Daniel Sun. You guys have a great time. Whatever you're doing, drink beer. Bye, guys.